I'm Mark Hallin, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank RUF, raw, uncut, first looks, special edition. What makes it special edition? We're taking a first look at a new piece of gear that's coming out other than our regular release day of Tuesday for this show, therefore a special edition. What am I having to look at? The Hen Instruments Multi-Master Multi-Parameter Photometer. Now, those of you that have watched this show know that part of the point of the show is to give you a first look at stuff. I open things up for the first time and have a look at it. Full disclaimer, I have opened up the packaging. Here's the thing in itself. There's the real packaging. Here's the outer. I opened it up because I wanted to put some batteries in here and thinking that you, know, you have to undo some screws, put in some batteries. I didn't want to waste you all's time by doing it on camera, which brings me to the first point about this thing, which I'm very excited about. So before we get started real quick, what this is is basically a checker that combines all the available HANA tests into one. So pH, alkalinity, calcium, nitrate, low range, nitrate, high range, nitrite, ultra low range, and phosphate, ultra low range. So instead of having a bunch of different checkers, you can now have this thing, which does all those things with one unit. Okay, so I said the first thing that jumped out at me about this thing was the battery. Yeah, check this out. On the other hand, at checkers, you gotta undo a little screw on the bottom, take off the bottom cover, hope that you don't lose that screw, and then put in the battery. With this thing, I love this. This was exciting to me. That's what I'm showing it to you. Look, all you gotta do is just unscrew this back panel. I'm doing this with my fingers, no tools needed. This thing pops right off. Boom, you have access to the three AA batteries that are in here. And it's got an O-ring in there, so this thing's gotta be at least somewhat water resistant. So that was a pleasant surprise right as I opened it out of the box. So that's the first thing they jumped out about this thing. Easy to swap the batteries. I like that. Nothing's worse than being out in the field and having your hand checker die and you got to replace those batteries and hope you don't lose that little screw. So that's cool. Okay. Now this thing does all the available hand checker tests right now in one unit. That means said, I'm not going to run through every single type of test that this thing does because if you're familiar with using the calcium checker, then it does that in the same steps that are in here. So what I do want to do is have a look at this and see how easy the user interface is for me just grabbing it out of the box. And I'm going to run the pH test because I don't have the pH checker. So I'll do that one because I'm unfamiliar with it. So I'm going to change the camera angle here so you get a close up look at the screen so you can see what I'm seeing as I run that test. All right, let's jump into this thing. Fire this up. Looks like we have a splash screen. Get this thing booted up. Tutorial mode enabled. Okay, continue. Tank one measure. And it's checking pH. That's cool. So I wanted to check pH. It just happened to roll straight into pH. So I'm guessing let's go to measure. Oh, look at this. Step one of 11. So it's walking me through this and it shows me what step I'm on. <clears throat> I like this, I don't have to wonder where I am in the process, did I skip a step? It's showing me right on the screen. Fill a cuvette to 10 milliliter mark with sample. Okay, I'm gonna go get 10 milliliters out of my tank. I'll be right back. I got my 10 mils. Uh, let's see, next. Replace cap, duh. Wipe cuvette clean. Okay, usually I just wipe this with my shirt or a towel. Looking in the kit, they give you, looking in the kit, they give you a cloth if you want to use it. Okay, so that's clean. Next, insert cuvette, check notch alignment, check notch. Okay, there's a notch here. And there's a little notch on the cap. So line those up, it locks in, that's cool. So I know it's lined up because it can't move. Next, so it's gonna zero it. So I'm gonna lay this flat so that it gets a good zero. Zeroing, okay, that's nice. So it zeroes every time. That will help make things more accurate. Uh, press next, remove cuvette, done. 
add five drops of HI 780-0. Okay, looking in the kit, that's this. I like that it gives me the number so I can match it on the bottle. It could just say add five drops of reagent, pH reagent, and you could probably figure this out, but there's no guessing because it's giving you the number. So that's cool. So let me move this out of the way so I don't spill drops on this because I am Mr. Butterfingers at times. Here we go. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you gotta count some drops. It would be nice if they give you a syringe and said, hey, add one milliliter of reagent, uh, but they didn't. So that's just a little tweak I'd like to see. Next, replace cap and invert five times to mix. One, two, three, four, five. Next, wipe it clean. Okay, wiping. Next, insert cuvette, check notch alignment. We know how to do that now. Locked in. Next, press read. So this is kind of cool. Next doesn't instantly give me a reading. So if you're unsure about something, it pauses until you press read. So that's cool. So let's do read, see what we get. 8.4, look at that. Very close to perfect pH for those of you that like to chase pH. Awesome, done. Now I'm done and that's it. How simple was that? Awesome, done with that. That's how easy it is. <laughs> awesome, I'm excited. It's like. Done. I, all I can say is done. Digging into the Marine Master photometer, I discovered something really cool. You can assign different tanks to the measurements, which is great. So say I'm testing my tank or a client's tank, I can log it here in the meter. But this is what's really great. I'm just gonna select it. I'm gonna go in here to log recall and I can see all of my test parameters. So I don't have to remember to write down the test results. Even if this thing turns off, let's say I run the test and I walk away and I forget, the results are right here so I can go back to them. I can simply scroll up and down and see all the test results. So that's really slick when you have multiple tanks. Even if you only have one tank, everything is stored right in here and is stored even if this thing powers off. A couple of thoughts looking over the footage of this. One thing is it's nice that it has on-screen tutorials. Look, this thing tests, what, seven, eight parameters, six, seven, eight parameters. Unless you're running all those tests frequently, you're gonna forget the steps that are needed for each parameter that you're checking for. Now look, yes, there's instructions that come with this thing. Notice they're still in plastic wrapped up here. But if you get that wet, if you lose that, if you somehow leave it behind, all you gotta do is go into tutorial mode and it tells you exactly what to test for. And I like that it says, look, go get pH uh, reagent 780. That way you're not left going, well, is it this one or that one? It gives you the number right on the screen to match the bottle. So it takes the guessing game out of it. So I like that. That's really cool. It's gonna be really useful to me as I'm using this on my tank and in the field. Now, one thing I'm starting to do more and more of is have service clients here in Nashville, Tennessee. And it's nice that I get everything here in this package. I get several checkers all in this one Marine Master. So I can take this with me to client houses and run the test. So let's say I'm out in the field and for some reason a tank goes from nitrate high range to nitrate low range, or I wanna double check things and go down to a low range. I don't have to bring my low range checker with me every single time or remember to bring it because it's all handled right here and the Marine Master kit. So that's really cool. It gives me lots of options. One little nice suitcase thing I can take with me. Makes me look a little more professional walking in with a suitcase to check your tank and it's ready to go. So overall, I'm pumped that HANA has enough checkers out there that they felt the need to make the Marine Master checker. I like the user interface on it. Very easy to use. Love the easy to change batteries in the back of it. Would it be nice if this somehow synced to an app? Yep, that would be cool. I'm gonna guess Hannah's gonna do that in the future. I mean, everyone's moving apps. Maybe that's coming, maybe not, I don't know. That would be something that I'd like to see, but overall, I'm really happy with this Marine Master thing. This is another piece of gear that Home Office isn't getting back. I'm keeping it with me. I dig it. 
what are the perks of the job. Mm -hmm.